Welcome back. We're joined once again by Dr. Michelle Merrington, and this time we're handing over the mic to you, Mzanzi. That's right. Last week, we asked you to send through your heart health-related questions, and we've selected one question that Dr. Merrington is going to answer. Here's the question, and it comes from Magdalene LaRue, and she asks, what must I do to maintain a healthy heart? Please give us a few tips, Doc. No problem. <laughs> First and foremost, eat a healthy diet. Mm. Um, nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Again, just to categorize, start with fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. It's always a good place to start. Um, doesn't have to be expensive necessarily. Um, and also, I suppose we have lots of variety. So choose what you enjoy, yeah. um, but be be aware of what some are good and some are not so good. So also just a bit of, of, of um, awareness around mm -hmm. what we have. Um, lean meat. So by all means, we can have probably most meats out there. Choose the, the healthier options. Okay. Um, drink plenty of water. Uh, and then lastly, just want to say whole grains, kind of very good for the gut as well as the heart. So, and if we need help, you know, there's always dietitians that we can also yes. chat with. Um, so book an appointment with someone, have a conversation about what you enjoy, what's in your cupboard, what's in your budget. Yes. Um, and choose what's good, eat what's good for your heart. I like that you've mentioned nutrition first, because I also love, I also love the quote, if you don't make food your medicine, medicine becomes your food. Oh my goodness. And isn't that the truth? Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Secondly, be active. Mm. So try the best you can to move as often as possible. And that doesn't necessarily mean taking out an expensive gym contract. Moving could be as simple as walking around the yeah. block at home, jogging in the streets, swimming in the ocean, yeah. um, you know, dancing, J do what you enjoy as long as we get that heart rate up um, and do so on a regular basis. The World Health Organization proposes that we kind of, you know, engage in moderate exercise at least two and a half hours a week. Um, so when you can, if you can, and in different ways to keep mm. it exciting, just keep moving. Yeah, absolutely. And then also another lovely quote, I'm sorry, I'm dishing out the quotes right now. A lovely quote I love is, you know, move your body because you love your body. Absolutely. Not because it's a chore, Not but because you actually love your body. You're unlikely to maintain it if it becomes hard work. Exactly, exactly. So nutrition, movement. Move, quit smoking. Quit smoking. Just do it. Yeah. It's hard for many people and we appreciate that, but there's also help for those that are struggling to quit. Yeah. So there are patches that one could use. Um, there is hypnotherapy. There, there are options. There are yeah. various options. And again, if you're really battling, speak to your doctor. Your doctor can advise you as to who to see mm. um, and, and options that are available to assist you if it is just particularly difficult and something you've been doing for a long time. Then I would say, Prioritize sleeping well yes. and managing your stress. Yeah. Um, again, what's what's proposed is that we get at least seven good hours of sleep a night. And I know for most kind of just in being an adult to start off with, let alone being a parent, um, it's not the easiest. Mm. But I suppose if we could at least try to achieve that most nights. You know, there was a time when we were babies and our parents had a routine before sleep time. Sure. And then we grow up and become adults and that routine goes out the window. Routine. And I find for myself in particular, when I'm in a really overwhelmed state and it's really hard to switch off your mind no matter what you do i find that when i go into routine like making myself a cup of tea having a bath doing a few breath work you know um b before i go to sleep that routine really does play a role in making me sleep sounder it's called sleep hygiene there we Isn't go yeah. So? yeah so yes it is it's 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 practical and it is it's something that is proposed mm. um and again, yes, it may work for some people and it may not for others. But try it. But try it. Yeah. Try it. And if you're not winning, chat with somebody for, for, for assistance. And similarly with managing stress and anxiety, sure, for some people it's as simple as, you know, you just kind of need to pull yourself towards yourself. Yeah. But it's not that simple for everyone. Sure. So if it's yeah. something you really are struggling with and it's impacting on your activities of daily living, your life in general, mm -hmm. get help. Um, because it will impact on yeah. your health down the line. It affects your blood pressure, it affects your blood sugar levels, and that's never good for your heart. And then just one last mention, keep in touch with your doctor. So there's a concept called uh, annu your, your annual physical. That's what some patients yes. will come in speaking of. Um, and some people believe in it and other things, others think that it's the biggest load of hogwash. But you, there are conditions like high blood pressure, for example, where you have no symptoms, yeah. no symptoms of the fact that your blood pressure is sky high. Yeah. And until someone actually does a check, you would never have known. So 
I, th I definitely think there's, there's, you know, place for yeah. just get an annual check so that yeah. you can have your cholesterol screened, have your blood sugar screened, have your blood pressure checked, have your weight discussed so that yes. if, again, another point, if you're overweight or obese, there are options out there yeah. for us to address those problems. Um, it's not, it's, it's not the end of the road, but we need to talk. We need to meet yeah. up with our, with our healthcare providers um, and have these, dis these discussions. So true. You know, we, we take that care with our vehicles, we send it in for a service, we upgrade our the software on our phones, so, our computers. So we need to true. do that with our bodies too. Our bodies Dr. Too. Michelle, it's always an absolute highlight having you in studio. Thank you for your wisdom and your insights. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. We I wish... thoroughly enjoyed our session thank today. Thank you, thank you. And wishing you a happy heart. Same to you. <laughs> There you go, by prioritizing regular exercise, a balanced diet, stress management and other heart healthy habits, you can support your heart and enjoy a longer, healthier life.